Okay, so I'm going to show you how to work this concrete mix design. It's concrete.union.edu, and we can check um, the work. So I'm going to actually check um, the chapter 4, problem 17 that I worked for you as an example. I'm going to do that. So, so he's just going through the scope. I'm just going to set, hit next until it starts asking questions. All right, so when you get here, we're gonna do by absolute volume. So select a design method, absolute volume, US, it's non-air entrained, this is problem 17, so we're going to start the mixed design. It wants us to get the slump, and here's that same table that we have in our book. It's a pavement and slab, so max is 3, min is 1. Um, aggregate size was given, and it was 1 inch. And then water cement ratio. All right, so our slump is three to four. Our aggregate was one. So that would be 325. So that would be water. The air um, is. 1.5 so you put 1.5 here we'll use it later on and then just hit the word compute and it'll get your volume of water and volume of air for you all right so in the book the example was 2000 psi And then the water cement ratio from above. So there's 2,000, so it would be 0 0.82. And enter the specific gravity of cement. It's always 3.15. So hit 3.15 and compute. So it's going to give you how much you're going to weigh out of cement and how much you're going to weigh out of um, cement as well. So there's the cement, and there's our water. Okay, so if we're going to put fly ash as some extra stuff, we're not. So click here, say no. And I'm going to hit display because it's going to ask what the aggregate size. It should be one when I hit display. Um, enter the weight of the coarse aggregate. So it's usually between 95 to 120 pounds. The book gave us for course 95 exactly for that one. Fineness modulus of the fine aggregate for problem 17 is 259. And then we're going to bring in the volume of the course aggregate per unit volume of concrete. So it's 2.59. No, the finest, sorry, that's 270. I did specific gravity. So that's 2.7. I got that from the chart. And then it falls between the 2.8 and 2.6. And there's the one inch aggregate. So if it's right in the middle between the 2.6 and 2.8, it means it's 0 0.68. 0 0.68. And specific gravity of the coarse aggregate. So that was given to, given to us, and the coarse aggregate was 268. That was given. And then just hit compute. And then for specific gravity of fine aggregate, it's 259. 